Hi, I'm Essence Atkins. Uh, this is Shadow and Act. This is how I made it. The story of the first job is this. There was a notice on the bulletin board at my school that said that they were looking for a ethnically diverse girl between the ages of 14 and 16 to be on The Cosby Show. This was the second season of The Cosby Show. And I fit the notice on the bulletin board. I called the number and set up an appointment and went and auditioned. Anyway, the long story short of it is that I actually booked the job. So my very first audition, um, I booked a guest star on the number one show in America. I was in the union, I got attention from managers and agents, and that was kind of like the beginning of my introduction into the idea of being an actress. But how I made it, really and truly, is about um, taking the leap first. Um, having something scare me, intimidate me, but excite me and exhilarate me at the same time, which is what that notice on the bulletin board did. And I leapt and I met with success. And I know that doesn't happen for everyone and that's a rare thing to have your first audition be the thing that you book, but it really is about leaping and following those impulses of the things that excite you and scare you a little bit, but you think you have a desire to at least try, I say try. When you're met with success, don't take it for granted. <laughs> You know, do the work, show up, be prepared, be on time, um, ask questions if you don't know. And the third kind of ingredient for me, at least in what I think has made all the difference, I wouldn't say it's because I'm the most talented. I am curious and I continue to study. When I'm not working, I do go to class, I do go to stage readings, I do go to theater, I do do cold reads and I do audition. I don't demand that they, you know, after all these years, they should know my work. They should just offer me that like I'll go in if it's a casting director especially that I've never met before I'm happy to go in uh, for a first read like I don't insist that I go in and meet the producers because I want to meet the casting director and I want to develop a relationship with them and, and and I feel that that's an honorable thing for them if we don't know each other I shouldn't feel insulted that they want me to come and meet them first no matter how many years I've been doing this today's PAs are tomorrow's showrunners tomorrow's executives tomorrow's directors there are so many people that I met 20 years ago that are in incredible positions now that are curators and creating content and making really the decision makers um, and deal makers. It's really important. And it, you know, it's not something you can put on. Like really, like conduct your business with kindness. And it's, and it's something that you should just do anyway because it feels better. You'll sleep better. There's no air that you have to put on that says, I've made it. Like truly the, the mark of, of, of real success again and like really making it is when you can move in benevolence and move in kindness. So, you know, when you get it, whether it's your number one on the call sheet or your number 110, you know, whatever that is, leave the impression of being excellent, um, being curious, being kind.